when we look at it, we often think about movement as a muscle bone concept, right? Muscles create a depolarization. They create an action potential where they contract. So the, the inside of the muscle belly depolarizes. Uh, actin and myosin see each other. They produce a power stroke that moves a bone and that is movement. And so while that is true, it's incomplete because the muscle bone concept presented in most of our standard anatomical description gives a purely mechanical model of movement where levers and other things tend to exist. But in reality, there is a seamless picture of integration that is viewed in the living body, right? So if I'm standing up, gravity's pulling me down. And if I let gravity pull me down, it collapses my joints and bends my joints which was not a product of any muscular force. So what moves my joints is not just a muscle and bone concept. It is mass, it is momentum, it is gravity, it is ground reaction force. It is all these things that act on my body. My body takes advantage of them in a very seamless, integrated and coordinated way. So when one part of my body moves, the whole body responds. So functionally, the best tissue that can mediate this responsiveness is the connective tissue, which is why we have it, or one reason why we have it. It keeps everything together and it's not an inert tissue. It stretches, it re rebounds like an elastic band. It contributes to shape stability. Uh, it allows us to be more athletic. It hel helps us be more stable at joints so we can be healthier. It is a contributor to overall well-being and performance.